Hey everybody, I got a great question from Hey everybody, I got a great question from Morgan, and she writes with a question that we get asked all the time. And that question is, what do you suggest, Mel, for accessing what you really want? You know, I talk a lot about being honest with yourself about what you want. And if you're somebody that's watching this and you have no clue what you want, I'm gonna say that's total bullshit. I think you've probably decided that either you can't have it because you don't think you're smart enough or good enough or worthy enough, or maybe you think you're too old, or you've told yourself that you can't make a living doing it. Both are complete and utter lies that you're telling yourself. What you need to do is ask yourself this. If you took money off the table, if you didn't give a shit what anybody else thought, what's the thing you would love to be doing with your life? Seriously. Do you dream of being a professional photographer? Do you want to open your own restaurant? Do you always thought about traveling the world and entertaining kids with uh, your juggling skills? I don't know, it's your life. You get to choose what you want to do. Be honest with yourself. What is it that you would want to do with your life if you didn't have to pay the bills doing it? Another thing you can ask yourself, who do you find yourself sort of envious of? You know, like you look at their life and you just think, gosh, how awesome that they get to do that. Well, once you have that answer for yourself, you've gotten really honest, you've pushed the bullshit aside and you've really asked it for yourself and answered the question honestly, all you gotta do is explore it, that's it. Just find one thing that you can do to enrich and expand your knowledge about it. Find one course online, Google the topic, stalk people that are pursuing this line of work. That's how you start to do it, one step at a time. So start with answering the question, what do you really want, with a massive dose of honesty. Google the topic and find one thing that you can do, just one, push yourself and start to explore it. If you were to wake up and do that every single day, spend 10 minutes a day, you would be startled, astonished by what your life looks like in a matter of a year or two. The morning is an interesting time of day, wouldn't you say? We need to transition from sleep to getting ready for the day of action and activity and thoughts and doing stuff. This in Qigong practice is yang energy. Now in Qigong they say give yourself a lightning flash of vitality each and every morning. Now this might be a cup of coffee for you, that gives you a lightning flash of vitality, but something even better, more sustainable without that caffeine crash is an ancient practice called Qigong. Hi, I'm Lee Holden, and I've been teaching Qigong for over 30 years. It's a wonderful practice of mind-body fitness. It's designed to charge you up, get you clear and focused. It's a moving meditation that cultivates energy. You see, Qi means life force energy, and Gong means skill at working with that life force energy. So waking up with a lightning flash of vitality is a very skillful way of using energy. Let me give you three exercises that help to wake you up each and every morning with that lightning flash of vitality. Are you ready? Three simple exercises. Try it for yourself and notice how you feel. First, notice how your body feels before we start. Just take a little inventory. How does your body feel? What's your breathing like? What's the state of your mind? All right. Got it? Just a quick check-in. Now, let's start off with some key pressure points. What I want you to do is do a little exercise called knocking on the door of life. The door of life is right here. It's by your kidneys. And on top of your kidneys is the adrenal glands. And when you drink coffee, you stimulate the adrenal glands. So we're going to knock. We're just going to go like this. You can lean forward a little bit and just go up and down the lower back area. And often when we sleep, the low back, it's a little tight, neck and shoulders get tight, the energy is uh, sluggish. So we wake it up with a little chi massage. Take a nice deep breath. Knock as hard as you can comfortably, tapping up and down the lower back area. Lean forward if that helps. 
and then come back up, and then a pressure point right here on your belly. This is called the C of Chi. It's right below your navel. And so what I'm going to do is knock on this point like this. Not out to the sides, but right on the point with both hands. And I want you to knock as hard as you can comfortably. So you're knocking vigorously to wake up the energy, but it's still comfortable. This is also good for your metabolism and your digestion. The sea of chi, knock right here. Take a nice deep breath. And then one more pressure point right here in the center of your chest. Good for emotional balance. It helps you clear stress before the day even gets started. Sometimes we wake up stressed out. So I want you to start off the day charged up and clear in your heart center with your emotions connected to what you want to create. Take a deep breath here. Relax. Now, notice how your body feels now after you activated those three key pressure points for energy and vitality. Feel a little buzzing and tingling? All right. Now, bend your knees, turn from your hips and your waist. Let your arms knock across your lower back and your lower abdomen. Let's knock on the door of life. And we bring a little invigoration into the spine. You see, when you sleep, the joints get a little stiffer. So when you rotate your body this way, it helps to release tension, tightness in the back. And you're knocking again across the door of life, across the lower abdomen to wake up those key pressure points for energy and vitality. Nice deep breath. Good, turn and look behind yourself. Just get a little stretch through the spine. And then gradually slow it down. Very gradually slow it down. Good, now we also want to start the day focused and clear. So here's what I want you to do. Take your right hand under your belly and the left hand is going to circle around and we're going to get centered. That's the name of this exercise. What do I want to create today? What kind of energy do I need to have my best day? And I want you to gather that energy. Inhale and exhale down the midline of the body and inhale and exhale down the midline. And these movements here are slow and they're done with fluidity and relaxation. They're called flows. Inhale and we connect mind and body. Focused, clear mind. Tapped into the energy and the resources that we need. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath, exhale. One more time. And bring your hands down to your sides. Notice that calm, clear, elevated energy flowing through your mind and body. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. If you like that, Click the link below, sign up for my free two week pass to my video class subscription. You're going to get a morning and an evening workout in that video class subscription. You can check it out. They're about 20 or 30 minutes long. There's more exercises just like this to charge you up in the morning and give you that lightning flash of vitality. Now, if you like these exercises, click the subscribe button, click the thumbs up, subscribe to the station so that you get more videos just like this. All right, I'll see you in the video class subscription. Thanks so much. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, morning, everybody. Good morning. Morning, all.
Good morning. Gonna plug through the slides. I've said this every day this week. I'll probably say it again. <laughs> so, what is it you would do with your life if you didn't have to pay the bills? If there were no limitations? So, just jot down. A life you would live if there was no bills and no limitations.
Some shoulder roll. Let's come to a position. Nice deep breath in. Through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. One more time. Nice deep breath in. And Exhale. So no limitations, not even the voice in your head. How would you like to end 2024? How would you like to end the year? What would you like to accomplish? What would you have liked to have achieved? Where would you like to be by the end of 2024? With no limitations.
to bridge in the gap of what you want from where you are. Consistent action, imagination, and living the life you say you want. Is it possible? So that's what we've gone through this week of bridging the gap of what you want from where you are. Consistent action, imagination, and living the, the life you want. Is it possible? So looking at each day, consistent, looking at where you want to go for the end of 2024, are your thoughts in alignment to where you want to go? Are your actions in consistent action to where you want to go? Is your imagination in, in alignment to where you want to go? Are you living the life you want to? you want? Are you looking at it? Is it possible? And this will take consistent action, repetition every day towards those goals. And also looking at what your mindset is. When the mind goes on with his mind chatter through the day, is that in alignment to where you want to end 2024? If it's not, don't even entertain it. Don't get trapped in the mind's thoughts if it's not in alignment to where you want to go. When I was in that hospital bed, my action was in consistent action to where I want to go. I was willing to do what any action, I was willing to take it to head me in the direction I want to go. But you've got to direct yourself. You've got to have somewhere where you want to go or you just get taken off track here and there. Your thoughts, they've got to be in alignment to where you want to go. I didn't entertain any thought that said that I wasn't going to do this. And that wasn't just my own thought, it was anybody's thoughts. Every, anything that came in had to be in alignment to me walking in, out of that hospital. Imagination. What are you imagining every day? Are you thinking about ending 2024 where you want to be? Or are you thinking about stress? Oh, how to do this? And, you know, allowing yourself to get lost in the news or so-and-so's business down the road. Where are you putting your thoughts and your imagination? Are you, what are you seeing? And are you allowing yourself to see it as a possibility? I'll put the video in. Let me find a video. Actually, we've got um, a med uh, uh, Bob Proctor. Meditation there, so we'll do that. Do you want to just sit and relax and tune into where you want to head for 2024? Close your eyes and let yourself totally relax. Okay? You just hear my voice, you hear nothing but my voice. You're nothing but my voice. I want you to totally relax. Let all tension leave your body. Sit upright. Don't go to sleep. Totally relax. You just hear my voice. You're nothing but my voice. I want you to feel and see a beautiful lavender energy flowing right into the crown of your head. It's a lavender energy. It's going to circulate through your brain. It's moving right in the back of your eyes, into your nose, your tongue, your throat. This beautiful lavender energy is flowing freely. It's circulating through your head. It's circulating down through your neck, into your shoulders and down your arms. It's right down to your fingertips now. Your arms and neck and head are totally relaxed. This beautiful lavender energy is circulating right through your body. You just hear my voice. You hear nothing but my voice. You're totally relaxed. You have the strongest urge to lift your right arm in the air and you can't move it, it's too relaxed. It's a bit of a phenomenon. 
You know you can, but you can't. This beautiful lavender energy now circulating through your chest, circulating all through your chest, down through your abdomen, down into your hips, and the lower part of your body. It's moving down now through your legs into your knees. You can just feel this lavender energy. It's a healing energy and it's circulating through you. It's giving you the most magnificent feeling. It's going down now through your legs, right into your ankles and into your feet. Your whole body is totally relaxed. You're totally relaxed. You just hear my voice and you're totally relaxed. You have a wonderful feeling. Now you can feel this energy is healing every molecule of your body. Every molecule of your body is healing. And the words of Price Pritchett come to your mind. The absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because you can't see it and feel it, you don't know it's happening. It's still happening. There's a healing energy that's circulating through your body. Everything I've said is recorded in cells in your brain. Every word I've said, everything you've experienced right now is recorded in your cells in your brain. At any time, you can sit in a relaxed state and instantly drop yourself into this state and activate the sound of my voice and the feeling in your body. You're totally relaxed. Now I'm going to count from one to ten. Each time I count a number, you're going to feel new energy flow into you. Every time I count a number, you're going to feel new energy. On the count of ten, you're going to feel like you've had a wonderful rest. And you're developing the strongest urge to practice what I'm doing right now and practice it frequently. And you know, you know, that every fiber of your being is moving back into a perfection state. There's perfection in every cell and you're coming back into that state. We're going from one to 10. Every time I count a number, you're gonna feel new energy flow into you. It's the most magnificent feeling. You're up to one, two, three, four. This energy is flowing into every molecule of your being is being rejuvenated. There's the most phenomenal feeling in you. On the count of 10, you're going to open your eyes. You're going to feel like you've had a wonderful rest. And this magnificent experience is going to stay with you for the rest of your life. And you will always practice this. Every day, you're going to practice relaxing and permitting this beautiful lavender energy to flow through you. And you know it's a healing energy. We're up to five, six. There's a phenomenal energy moving into you. On the count of 10, you're going to open your eyes. You're going to feel like you've had a wonderful rest. We're up to six, to seven, to eight, nine, ten. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here, and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, then may each of you be willing to go in the direction of what you want for 2024. So we will have the 5 a.m. club next week, Monday to Friday again. If you want to join, it'll be the same as this week, where there'll be 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining. And have a wonderful day.